Welcome back to another appointment with the Golf Doc. Today we're out at Bridalwood Golf Club playing holes four, five, and six. Last time we were out here, we ended on a terrible note with a triple bogey on the par three third. Had a lost ball. You got to see the lost ball ruling. Let's see if we can get some birdies on these three. We're starting out on number four, 347 yard par four. I've got three wood because you can see we got a very narrow gap here to drive through. So I want to be able to hit that and my three wood is a little more accurate. Short hole. Let's see if we can put one out there. No bunkers in the fairways. Just get it past these trees. Again, you want to pick you an intermediate target. I've got a little spot right here that I'm aiming at about two feet in front of the golf ball. Pulled it a little bit. Should be up, but it's going to be left of the fairway, I believe. A little bit of a toe strike. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, guys, that's where we ended up. Not too bad. We got a shot. Luckily, the pin is on the right side a little bit. So we're able to kind of go at this here. We're going to have to skirt this tree. Let's see what the distance we got here is. 101 to the flag stick. All right, so you don't want to hit your full lob wedge with that tree there. We got some green to the right, so we may just want to aim at this tree in the back of the green and leave ourselves a birdie putt from there. But I don't want to hit it too high, so I've, loft, I've clubbed down uh, in degrees here. I've got a 50 degree, normally a 101 shot my full would be a full lob wedge. But I've got a 50 degree, which is my gap wedge, and I'm just going to hit a little punt shot right at that, gr that tree in the background and see if it draws maybe a little. And if it doesn't, I should be fine. So 101 is our number. I'm choking down just a little bit on this 50 degree. Don't want to get cute and hit this tree and end up having to get up and down for par. Came out beautifully. It looks like I might be on the front edge or maybe just short. Ended up a little short. But that's okay. This should be a fairly easy up and down. All right. So walk it off. Find your distances. Feel how soft this is if you're going to land it short with your feet. All right. You don't want to land it in here. It's going to kick way forward. So let it just release onto the green. Get you an up and down. Get a par. And get out of here. That tee shot takes birdie basically out of the question. And especially after the second shot. So. Hit you a good one here, get up and down, and get out of here. Football, football, just taking off right. Okay, guys, got a little bit of a lengthy part, but don't make a habit of these like I've been doing. Fix your pitch marks. All right, so we're going to have a right to left putt. A little bit up the hill, I believe, because this one took off on me. So I think it's downhill on the other side. So this one's gonna be uphill, a little right to left. Greens have been fast, so you don't wanna screw around and make a double here. Pushed it. So we bogey. After a bad tee shot that put us in a difficult position. Moving on, be a goldfish, delete it from your memory. All right guys, so disappointing bogey there on number four. Bogeys happen, bogeys are easy to come back from. Don't worry about it, erase it from your memory. Moving on to number five. Here we are on number five, par four, 410 yards. We've got a bunker on the right, it's about 245 to clear. And we got this tree on the left, it's about 260 to the tree. So I think I'm gonna aim it down the right with a little draw. That way if it doesn't draw, hopefully I can clear that bunker, 250 carry. I think I got that. And then we should have a good angle into the hole. So I was able to determine those yardages by using my 18 birdies app. It gives you a overhead view of the hole and it tells you exactly how far it is to everything you wanna know. Go download that 18 birdies app. Get your intermediate target.
going right at that bunker on the right. I did not see a splash or anything in the bunker, so I think I cleared it. Let's go find out. So I did clear the bunker. Got us a little bit of a side hill lie. All right, so I'm gonna teach y'all exactly what to do in this situation. First of all, make sure it's your ball. 149. When I dress this golf ball, it's gonna be below my feet. Okay, you can see here, golf ball is pretty significantly below my feet. So, initially, you wanna think that the ball is gonna to wanna to go right, all right? It's just, the it's gonna to wanna to go towards the slope. So it's gonna to wanna to go right. So I'm gonna aim left of the flag stick, all right? Because it's gonna fade, most likely. Every, not every time, because sometimes you'll close that face trying to keep it from fading, but it should go right. So pick your spot. I'm not gonna go quite as far as aiming at this bunker to the left here, but I am gonna aim probably between the flag and the bunker, somewhere in that area. I've got 149. I've got a nine iron. Again, it's, it's foggy, it's damp, it's humid. It's not gonna fly as far, so this should be perfect. Put me right in the middle of the green. So to hit this shot, you wanna make sure you bend your knees, stay down on the golf ball. Do not straighten up at impact, stay down. Keep your head down. Biggest thing is keep your knees bent, keep your head down. Because if you straighten up, pick your head up, that's when you top it and you end up in this bunker that's 20 yards in front of us. See, even I caught that a little thin. Sit down! Okay, greens are soft. It's set pretty hard, but I caught that a groove low because I didn't stay down on it like I should have. Got away with one there. Uh, I did not hit a great shot. I caught it a little thin, which is the tendency with that ball below your feet. Uh, came out pretty hot, but the greens are soft because it rained recently and it's pretty damp out here today. So it hit the green and stopped pretty, pretty good. So I've actually got a really good birdie putt here upcoming. All right, guys, so this is where we ended up. Like I said, we got away with one, but sometimes you gotta get lucky. Setting up my eye range, get a great shot of this birdie going in the hole. Eye range is a sports stick that holds your phone, sticks in the ground, it's perfect. If you don't have one, go get you one. If I said it a hundred times, I'll say it again. Fix your pitch marks. If you're a leave it in guy, then that's fine. Leave the pin in. I have like a system. If it's over 25 feet or so, I'll leave it in. This one's about eight to 10 feet. So it looks like it's gonna go uphill a little left to right from what I can see. But look at it from both angles, from both sides of the hole. I confirm what I see from one side. It's definitely going this way, all right? Make sure all of your little debris and sand is out of the way. You don't want a little pebble to hit your ball and knock it offline. Just outside the left. It's uphill, but these greens again have been pretty quick, so I'm not gonna kill it. But this is one you gotta make. Stay up! Just broke just a little bit more than I thought. That's all right, we'll take tap in pars all day. Don't let that one frustrate you too much. We're not on the PGA Tour here. PGA Tour is gonna make that nine, 10, 10 out of 10. A little bit of a disappointing par there, but we gotta remember that we got away with one on the approach. Uh, ball's below my feet. I hit it a little thin. It took off, came out hot, but the greens are soft and it stopped pretty quick. Um, so we got a pretty good look at birdie. Got to take advantage of those when you can. We did not there, but that's okay. We'll take par all day. Moving on to number six, par five. Number six, par five, 535 yards. A little bit of a dog leg left. Let's see if we can get a birdie, get a stroke back here. So using my 18 birdies app, I was able to see that this bunker on the right is about 250 to the bunker and about 280 to clear it. So that's right in my landing zone. So I don't wanna mess with that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a draw, but I'm gonna tee up on this side and aim away from that bunker. Use your tee box as an advantage, aim away from your danger, 
hopefully essentially taking that right side away. That one should be good. Just hugging those trees on the left. It's a little bit of a dog leg left, so that should be pretty. In pretty good spot. We got this little wet spot. Like I said, it did rain uh, recently. But let's set this up. See if we can find a yardage. See if we can't hit this green in two. 236 is our number to the flag. I've got five wood. Looking at the lie, it looks like the ball may be slightly below my feet. So I just got to play a little bit of a cut here, maybe. There's a little bunker in the back of the green. That's my aim point. The, gr the flag, again, is, is between the two trees in the back. So I'm going to aim at that bunker. We got a lot of green to the left of the flag stick. If it fades, great. If it doesn't, I'm safe. So you got to find a good aim point. Again, pick you a spot right in front of your golf ball. Feel again, yes, this ball is a little bit below my feet. So stay down on it. It is fading at the bunkers on the right. Can't tell if it went between them or if it's in them. Let's go find it. Hit it okay though. So it ended up just in front of the bunker here. You can see the flag just over the top of the bunker here. One thing I do here on this chip is I will walk all the way up here and I want to see how much room I have between the bunker and the hole. From back there, it doesn't look like much. From up here, it's probably 40 feet, quite a bit. Once it gets on the green, it looks like it's gonna go just a little bit to the left. So if you're trying to get this one close for birdie, like we are, aim just a little right of the pin, let it release. A little bit of an uphill here, so it's gonna help it get in the air. I've got a 58 degree. You don't want to leave this short in the bunker. Your biggest objective here is to get it on the green and give yourself a birdie putt. Don't get cute and, sh and chunk it into this bunker. So how I'm playing this shot, I've got my stance open just a little bit. I've got the ball back just a little bit. Club face is square to slightly open. And then I just want to hit a pitch shot and land it about halfway between the edge of the green and the hole. I got a little cute there and didn't hit it hard. It got over the bunker, but it did not release much. So not the best shot, but we have a birdie putt. So here's our birdie putt, guys. A little bit up the hill. It's about 30 feet or so. Would definitely like to be closer, but it's a birdie putt. This one looks fairly straight. But if you look over here, I'm not sure you can see it. There's a little bit of a ridge. It looks like it's coming down to the right. So I think, if anything, it's gonna break just a little bit to the left, up the hill. Hit you a good one. Hit your line. Speed is what you're thinking here. It did not, it actually broke the other way. <sighs> we'll take a par. Appreciate you hanging out with me for these three holes in your weekly appointment with the Golf Donk. Another successful appointment. Be sure to hit that subscribe. Be sure to like the video and stay tuned for next week for another appointment with the Golf Donk.